Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, episode number eight of how many? That's nine. That's eight at nine. Eight of Jams, KMA's Jams. Just another Minecraft series. As you see, I am at my Sky Spawner, otherwise known as the Gunpowder Factory, watching mobs fall to their death. And what I have done since the last episode is I was trying to actually... Ooh, look at that, a spider survived. Oh, that's because I made the walls. Ooh. I made the walls, these glass walls, and now the spiders won't exactly crash to their death. Sometimes they'll get stuck on the walls and go back up. But he just went back up, he'll fall back down and die anyways because that is a sadistic spider. Um, I was trying to create a double portal here, one down there and one up here. If you were a mine crack specialist in the past, and you know Anderzels, Anders, he had a place on one of the mine crack seasons. No, oh, I just love watching those things fall. Um, where he had a floating island. And he had a portal at the bottom of the floating island. And a portal on top of the floating island. So he went into the nether and had two portals about six or eight blocks apart from each other. So he could be at the bottom, go into the nether, jump into another portal in the nether that's six or eight blocks away, and end up on top of the island a couple hundred blocks away. And I was trying to condense that and have a portal down there and a portal up here. But seeing you see this track, that did not work. So. Aww. Death to all skeletons and creepers and zombies and spiders. So I made this little uh, track that will get me from up here to down there pretty quickly. And um, instead of the portal network, I thought it would have been really cool to do the portal, but I spent a couple of hours on it. And as you know, I don't have the time to be spending a couple of hours on something that doesn't work. So I just kind of gave up on it and didn't want to go through the motions. Maybe in the future, but not right now. So I can jump in this track, come down here, and it brings me down to my little loading area, which I have decided, seeing that I have made a platform where tons of mobs will form, I'm going to have to make an item sorter here eventually. But right now, i got it all going into one chest, and that chest is... almost full. So... Pretty soon, I don't know how I'm going to set it up. Um, I'm going to have to drop some water over here and make some blocks underneath there. Maybe an item elevator to bring it up to this level. And have maybe the chest over here. I don't know. I haven't really thought about that setup yet. But I kind of um, used a whole bunch of blue glass for that. And made this little transportation thing. So it's a great little thing to have in the world it's not an experience thing it just gives me all the arrows I needed uh, if you watch the first few episodes of the series I had trouble keeping arrows um, in my inventory <laughs> so I'm gonna head back to my base remember last time I made a circular base and um, said I was gonna be making a glass dome on top of it and Come on, you can run, you can run. I know you're tired, man, but Jesus, just run, just run. Um, so I made the glass dome, um, not completed it, but I'm working on it, and I just kind of wanted to show you the progress on that, and maybe do a layer of it to show you what's to be done. But you know when you go on, you can search Minecraft circles online. And uh, it shows you the exact dimensions of circles that you want to make. So you figure out how big a circle you want. If you want the diameter to be 45, look up a circle that's 45 in Minecraft. And it will show you exactly how to make that circle. And to do the dome, you just invert that circle from horizontal to vertical. And that's what I have done. Let's see, is it day or night? Let's go to sleep real quick. I don't want any mobs to be showing up. When I just went through that portal to go to the nether to record this clip, there was a 
creeper on the nether on the other side of this. So when I went through here, and it really freaked me out, I got right here, and there was a creeper sitting right there, and it did not blow up because I just ran down the hallway like a scared little chicken. But if it did blow up, I had nothing to light this portal, and I was stuck unless I had a very long ride back. I didn't want to do that. So, be careful with your portals. Chickens can destroy, I mean, <laughs> creepers can destroy it. Oh, did you just steal one of my blocks? I need that. Come on. Come here. You stole my block. You... I know it was only dirt, but jeez. Um, I have temporary rooms uh, kind of mapped out here. I don't not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet so you can basically ignore this dirt right now but as you see I'm starting to build this um, dome and at some point I am gonna replace some of this glass with other types of blocks uh, namely maybe a row of andesite give it some structure give it some change because it's really kind of hard to see the dome right now um, but I'm just getting the going to put up the dome and glass and change the blocks as I go there's nothing out here to blow me up that creeper kind of freaked me out a little bit shame on creeper so um, let me know what you think I'm gonna put some um, lights and stuff in this dome and probably have a huge chandelier coming down the center so basically how you make these domes I'm going to go to this edge. Basically, you have a certain uh, way to make the circles. And this particular circle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So basically, 9 wide, then I got a 3, then a 2, the 2, then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And I'm on the other side, 2, 2, 3, 9. And basically, you do the same thing here. Um, so... I, this wall is five high, so there's, is it five high? Yeah, I kind of messed this up. This was supposed to be four. Well, maybe, I don't know. It's early in the morning, so maybe I'm wrong right now. So I got the initial base wall. Come on, give me your ender pearls. Jerk. So I have, I have the initial nine up. Then I got the three... Did I do three? I only did two here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I have the nine here, and the wall is five high, so initially the, the other four are in the ground. That's what it is. Then I have the three high, which is this row, which goes in one. Then the two, and I got the one, 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 and uh, I don't know. It made sense, and I made the thing. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, it made sense when I did it. Right now, I can't explain it too well. But working a lot, my brain ain't working too well. But uh, I figured out where the dome's going to be, and then it's going to go back down three, two, then two, then one, 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 one. And I, did I just only do one, two over here? It doesn't matter right now. I'm too tired to figure it out. Oh, yeah, I got two here, two there. So, yeah, I got it right. I'm just not explaining it well. So, when I get a level done, I place a row of dirt around the inside here. And I just put the one. See, and I only need to go up one here, then another one on this. So I just place the ring of glass around like this. And it, it's a lot easier than placing the temporary blocks on the corners. Like right here, I wouldn't be able to normally place one there. I'd have to place a glass block or something here and then work off of it. And it's just not as quick as just going like this and taking down the dirt. Sometimes taking down the dirt's a pain in the butt, but that is beside the point. I think this is still the quickest way to get this down. And I realize this thing takes a lot of glass. I've already probably put in on this dome seven or eight stacks and it's probably going to take another seven or eight stacks to finish of blue glass which means lots of <coughs> coughing 
Yes, that's what it means. Lots of coughing. And once I get the row done, if if it was happened to be a three high area, I would have done it three high, but this is just a one high. I just kind of hang off the edge and try not to break the glass with my shovel. I have made this shovel a um, efficiency five shovel, which means that it will break, break this glass pretty quickly. So I have to be careful. It doesn't matter that much because I do have tons and tons of glass now. Um, that sand pit that I showed you last episode, and I, I kind of have to apologize for last episode, but let me finish my thing, then apologize. That sand pit has almost been used to its maximum. Um, not much sand left there. Of course, it's in the desert, so I can take it other wares, but the initial place that I had initially cordoned off to get sand, and I'm almost done getting the sand from it. So I have to find another section to make it easy to get more sand. So what was I going to say about the last episode? Oh, the last episode um, that I made came at a very strange time in my life, and it's still kind of a strange time. I was having the financial difficulties, but I have hence taken over the bill paying, and I was very bitter about it, so much so I was initially not going to upload that episode because I was bitching about it and whining about it and you know it was kind of too much information for you know people who do not know me and it's just I don't know like that video kind of came off wrong but then with the progress of the world and me deciding to continue with the series jams just another Minecraft series <laughs> um, I decided, yeah, and for conceptual continuity, I am going to re release the episode, even though it, I will say, is not one that I am too proud of. Because one thing that you don't want to be doing on YouTube is whining a lot, complaining a lot about shit. You want to have a good time and, you know, do fun stuff. And my life, unfortunately, was not very fun for a little bit, so it was hard for me to do fun stuff. But um, we are getting the thing back under control. I'm making some sacrifices and that are kind of hard right now. Like last pay period, I had the water turned off so we could keep my car, the second car. So I've already lost the first car. And this week we are going to have our internet turned off at some point. We don't know exactly when. So if um, you don't see from me or hear from me, for a couple of days, it's because the internet has been turned off. Which, you know, I've had that happen before. But we need to be paying bills. And there's certain things that are more important than the internet. Like shelter and car. So I gotta do those sacrifices. But as you see, this is what the dome is looking like. Um, right now. It's... I... I don't know. It looks decent, but it needs, you know, separation. There's too much glass in it, so I'm going to take out the glass, or some of the glass, and refine it, make it look more, I don't know, uh, break it up with stuff, I guess I should say. So what I do after I take out the dirt, I go to the next level, and I put some more dirt down here uh, where the glass would go. And it is, it takes care of itself this way. I don't have to refigure and go, okay, well, this circle is 18 blocks. Let's go look it up. It kind of already tells me where to put the glass blocks for the next level. And hopefully, if I do, do this right, <laughs> did this right, um, it's going to work out properly. But I spent a fair share fair amount of time yesterday, which was Sunday, which is a day I can spend a fair amount of time on here, um, and I'm pretty sure I got this right. I will be kind of devastated if I didn't because all this work for not, but we would fix it somehow. So that's kind of how I do the dome. 
So you figure out the size of the circle and instead of just doing it on the horizontal axis, you do it on the vertical axis. And so now I am ready to put another row of um, glass around here. And eventually the dome will connect up here and it will be the big keepsake of the area. So I am going to work on this a little bit longer and I just take a screenshot because I love my sunsets. So um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to record in a couple of days. I'm going to probably do one video a week right now because my life is so busy. Working 60, 70 hours a week right now is a little much to be doing a Minecraft series also, but I'm going to squeak out episodes hopefully once a week. And I hope you got past that last episode and this episode should be a little bit better. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to get to work and I'll talk to you guys later. So I did a little work today and I finished my dome and added a chandelier. But anyways, this is what the dome looks like um, with no weird replacement blocks. Um, and I don't think I'm going to do it because now that it's complete, I kind of like the fact that it's all glass. It's almost like it's not there, but it is there. Um, it's causing a lot of... Something's causing a lot of lag right now. I don't know what it is. Maybe my computer's doing an update. But anyways, I like to like stare at this wall and figure out which way, which blocks are in, which blocks are out. Because sometimes you get that visual effect where <laughs> you don't really can't really tell it's a kind of mc escher is escher ish mc escher ish escher ish escher ish yes i'm making up words now so um basically this episode is done um let me show you what it looks like from afar and i'm gonna go over a really i'm gonna break the bounds of a let's play and give you a little tutorial yeah, I wonder what is making my world lag right now. My computer must be doing something else all of a sudden. But there it is. Uh, from afar. It's R2-D2. <laughs> that was not the intent. But that is exactly what ended up happening. Uh, really weird. My frames are going from like 70 frames down to 10 frames. Back up to 70 frames down to 10 frames. And... I don't know what's going on. My computer's hissing at me too. But maybe if I get out of this world and show you something real quick in another world. I hope you like that. Let me know in the comments whether or not you like R2-D2. <laughs> I actually really wanted to make R2-D2. I would have made it look like R2-D2. But that was what Stacy said this thing looked like. Probably because of the blue dome. Um... I could, I thought for a second, maybe I could make this look like R2-D2, but why would R2-D2 be stuck in the ground? Unless I made this ground into some sort of uh, huge-ass fighter from Star Wars, and he could be, you know, the co-pilot, but um, I didn't make this world to make a Star Wars, Star World, <laughs> Star Wars uh, game out of it. <laughs> I can't speak! Oh my gosh! I can't speak! So, let's go check out something. Stay with me. This is a little weird. Save, quit. Uh, single player. Yes, you'll get over it. Yes, you will get over it. Alright. So here we go. <laughs> a little demonstration real quick. Um, here's a circle. Well, a Minecraft circle. It's not really a circle, but... You know what I mean. So you got the 3131. Wow, it's still doing that. I'm going to have to figure out what my computer's doing right now. Arr. But, anyways, um, and this was like, say, this is the area of your circular building. And in order to make a dome, what I was saying is you got to invert it. Uh, so this is the circle on a horizontal plane. You got to make a circle on. The other plane, you know, so you kind of come in. So, uh, this one right here, I just inverted it. So, this is the three one, two, three, then up one. Let's get up. Yeah, I could do, do like this and over three. And, um, 
Oh. Oh. So we got the circle kind of going over the top. What I mean is something like this, where you got this. This would be ground level, the green. And what I did was just, oh, come on, keyboard. I'm, I apologize, my computer's shrieking out for some reason right now. Um, what I did was I just took the actual green circle and inverted it into the blue thing and just copped the top part. So that's why on my circle it's nine across. I only had five above the ground because actually ground level would be the fifth one so you just add four above it. And I just added one more because I wanted the wall, first wall to be nine high. That's how you did it. So I got the three, the one, the three, the one, then three, then one, then three across, then one. And that's exactly how you do the circle. And save and quit. Just so you know, delete, deleted. So let me get back in here and say my goodbye, a goodbye. So that's how I did it. Um, I inverted the circle. I, I just kind of wanted to show you because I think I, a lot of times I just assume that you guys know what I'm talking about and stuff and I just breeze over subjects real quick. So I got the nine across here, which is actually up to this wall right here. Then I got the three, then the two, then the two again, then the whole bunch of ones. Then I uh, invert the, you know, come around to the this side of the circle on top. And then there's nine across on the top. Let me know if you like the chandelier. Um, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but I wanted something to break up the dome. But I do think this dome is pretty awesome. Now, if only the surrounding building was awesome, and I gotta figure out what to do inside this building. So you guys tell me what I should do here, and um, maybe I'll do that. I had this crazy idea of doing something in this world. Hey, my frame rates has leveled off. Yay, my computer's done scanning or something. Whatever it was doing. But anyways, um, I was planning on doing something crazy here. Uh, I won't let you into a secret, but basically uh, I can stay in this, this building and have everything I ever wanted. Um, that's for another episode. Hopefully I'll touch base with it because I don't know if I'm going to do it now that I put a roof on this. I can't really do it with a roof. And I don't really want to ruin the dome. But we'll see what happens. That's why initially this place was wide open on top. Because I was going to have uh, some sort of way where I could make this a villager trader area with automatic farms that bring supplies here. Like I would have an automatic wheat farm over here where a villager was doing wheat and he would throw the wheat at the second villager and the hoppers would bring it over here and the same thing with the carrot same thing with the potato then I'd have an automatic um, sugarcane farm pumpkin farm melon farm um, raw chicken farm so everything I needed to trade with villagers to get emeralds and um, do what I need and have everything just show up here um, it's a huge a neat idea but I don't know if I want to spend that much time to make all those farms around here when this has turned out to be a visual um, area instead of a production area but we'll see I plan on keeping this world for a little while but anyways I'm gonna go have a good day it's Keith from KMA's Corner hope you enjoy the video another video next week bye